He's Nicholas back for a quick one tonight. Well, now a middly one, okay. Now you know what it's like. You're using Linux, and all these guys are saying, "Oh, you've got to use Arch. Use Arch Linux. It will teach you lots of stuff, and it will." Okay. But there are other ways around it if you want to try Arch without actually installing Arch, because it is hands-on. Uh, many new users or even intermediate users may not be ready for that just yet, to be honest with you. Or you may be. You might want to give it a go and learn by your mistakes. But there are other routes into it, okay? So anyway, if you want to go some easy ways, okay? Really, really easy ways. It's some uh, Arch-based distros. They're not Arch itself, okay? Let's get this thing straight. It is an Arch. It's an easy way to Arch. So one of them is Bridge Linux, okay? Nice and easy. I've done a few videos on it. It works super fine. What more can I say? And one of the most popular ones at the moment is Manjaro. But remember, it uses its own repos. I think you can enable the AUR repos. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. But that's another easy one. And it comes with lots of desktops. It's just you put a disk in and off it goes. But you won't have total control over your system like you would do if you was using Arch Linux. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. Come on. That's gone. This is the Arch Linux page. Now, at the moment, some people are going to have to update their pill packages because it's going to break some bits if you don't do it. You know, it happens. So this is what happens with Arch sometimes. If it goes wrong, it's up to you to fix it. But that's one of the things you have to live with by having total control over your system. But if you're happy with that, off you go. Learn a terminal command. Zumbi, zumbi, zumbi. You're gone. No problem at all. Now... Out there on the internet, there are several Arch installers. Now, this one's half and half, okay? I'll tell you why when we start doing it in a minute. It's basically an automated install script for you to install Arch Linux and sort of customise it. Not as much as you would be able to if you was installing it from the command line and installing it properly, but this is one way of doing it. So we're going to give that a go, okay? So I'm going to close the browser down. I'm going to do this in the box for you, because I'm not going to have a real system. I'm going to waste my time doing that on my other stuff, baby. So I've set the, the thing up, okay? So we're ready to go. Only an 8GB hard disk, so I'm just going to show you a real small install. Now remember, when you do install it to real hardware, because I've got a couple of lepids running it now anyway, the performance will be a lot better, okay? But because you're using virtualization and virtual box, it's not going to be the same. It'll give you an idea, but when you get the bigger desktops, it's not so great, okay? But hey, ho, you know. So, should we start? We're going to give it a bit of an install. I'm going to use Arch Anywhere. Off we go. So, I'm going to start the installation. Off he goes. I'm going to minimise the big window at the back there, because we don't really want to see that, do we? So, what do we want to do? So, we've got choices here. So, we can power off. Reboot. Hardware information. Run a mem test. If you've got an old machine and you're doing it, that might be a good idea, because you can see how bad or good your RAM is. Boot into an existing OS. No big deal. You can do that yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Easy to do. Or boot Arch Linux. Okay. Remember, it's an in this is an installer. Although there are some caveats to that. And I'll show you in a moment when we get into it. Okay. So people have done some stuff on this well, a while ago. But this is the most recent installer. Okay. So we're going to click on there. And boot into Arch. And that's going to probe our hardware. And it'll know we're running VirtualBox. It'll just know. Arch has been going a real, real long time. This shouldn't take long at all. But I'm just going to show you the certain things you're going to have to do. But it's really, really easy. But if you want real Arch, go and do it the real way, OK? But if you want to have a feel of it, this might give you a good go. So I've got my mousey pointer here, and I'm just going to show you some bits of sets here. So if I type in 1, it will run the installer. If I type in 2, it will try and update the installer. There's the Arch Linux wiki. Test connection there. I'm running from Ethernet here, so it's fine for me. System information and update the mirror list. I think we need to do that. So I'm just going to go one, bash on enter, and off we go. It's a nice little screen. Now you want to choose your language. Well, of course, mine is English. Some people say it's not, but yeah, it is really. Okay, welcome to the Arch Linux Anywhere installer. Would you like to begin the install process? Well, of course I do, and that's why I'm here, baby. Yes. Download and rank your new mirrors. Of course, that's what I want to do. Right. What's my country code? I'm going to down to G, don't I? G, D, uh, G. GB, United Kingdom. It's going to update our mirrors. Do some stuff there. Bish bosh. All done. It's quite easy, isn't it? It is really, really easy to do. 
So now what's my key map? So scroll down the bottom, United Kingdom. Yes, that's me. And go down here for ENGB UTF 8 for Great Britain. That's good for me. Now I'm not in Africa. I'm not in the Arctic. I'm not in Brazil. Go down further, 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 further. I'm going to just set it to GMT for now, so that'd be fine for me. Auto partition your drive. Well, yeah, we're doing it the easy way. Although you can use encrypted LVM, manually partition if you really want to. It's all up to you. Okay. So you might have already set up your partitions and you can just do manual partition and go like that. Yeah, it's up to you. So auto partition. As you can see, it's got 8 gig. Yeah, it's fine for me. EXT4, or you could use ButterFS. You can use XT3, XT2, GFS, RiseFS, but I wouldn't recommend that. Some people want to use XFS. If that's what you want to do, you do what you want to do. XT4 for me. Do I want a bit of swap? Yeah, 512 would be fine, because it's got so much RAM in there anyway. Yep, okay. Would you like to use GPT partitioning? Now, this is up to you what you want to do, how you want your partitions to lay down. But as this is only showing you how to do it, I'm going to click No. This will erase all data on your drive. That's fine for me. Write the changes. And I'll have a bit of drinkage while it's doing that. It shouldn't take too long at all. Yeah, doing SD2. Okay. Mounting it. Oh, we're all that. I was just about to have a bit of drinkage and it stopped. But here you get a choice of kernels. The Zen kernel is supposed to be the best kernel for the general user. If you want long term support, go to the LTS. Hardened kernel, only if you're hard. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But we're just going to use the base vanilla kernel because we're just playing around with it. I would advise you, if you're going to do full arch, play around with it in the box too. Okay? Just to see how you get around, you know, and give you a good feel for it before you go into a full installation on the machine. Because if you do it wrong in the next place, it goes bang. Okay, anyway, that's okay for me. Ordinary bash shells are fine for me, and grab will be fine for me too. Now, I'll have a network manager. See, it does all these little things for you without having to type everything. But if you're doing a full arch install, it isn't that difficult, okay? But, yeah, we click OK. We want a network manager, don't we? And, yes, it is 64 bits. Do I want to add the multi-libs? Well, of course, we can use 32-bit software. So, yes, for that one. Enable DHCP at boot. Recommended. Or, of course, I'm plugged in. But I don't need no wireless utilities. I don't need no dial-up utilities either. Okay. Install OS Probe? No, not really, because this is not a dual boot. But if you were dual booting, be very careful, by the way, if you are going to do this, sometimes it will find your boot, and sometimes it won't, and it will give you a boot. Okay. Do I want to install a desktop and window manager? Well, of course I do. Now, here's where you get some options for you, okay? Right, the first one is the Arch Anywhere XFC desktop. Right, that's a pre-configured one for you. It's entirely up to you if you want to use it. If you're just playing around in a box, that might be a good idea for you to go to. But you also get open box, budgie, cinnamon, deepin, takes a lot of resources. Name wasn't too bad actually. LXT if you like a lighter desktop. LXQT for cutie stuff. Mate XFCE4. Awesome Windows Manager. Beastborn. A dynamic Windows Manager. Enlightenment I like. If you're going to install Enlightenment, you may have to play around with your video resolutions as well. Okay. Fluxbox i3 and open box and window maker so just for saying okay what should we do um let's see what i'm not going to do budgie should i do cinnamon no we're going to go straight to oh i don't know what to do now oh, okay basic lxda excuse me that'd be fine for me hit the space bar to highlight it and bash on enter so we're done do I want to install GTK3? Experimental version. Ooh. Yeah, go on. Right, virtual guest install detected. Yes. So we might as well give that a go as well. So this could all go bang if the GTK3 stuff don't work. You know what I'm saying? Would you like to install the input touchpad for drivers? No. Display manager? Yes. We'll go with Light DM. That's fine. Because we're just testing it. And I'm just showing you what we're doing. But okay. Would you like to install some common software? Yeah, I do. I, I, what I want? Do I want them the Arch Anywhere repository? Well, I'm going to say yes. Okay, and just a basic one and the fetch package for Pac-Man AUR. Okay, that's okay. 
Get some chicks everything for us. Free packages will add, no problem. Do I want some audio stuff? Well, yeah, what do I want? I just want some basic stuff. So, pulse audio control will be good. So, press spacebar. Anything else down there? Oh, that one that would be fine for me. Okay. One package we've added. I'm not going to get any games. Well, you can get Steam and anything you want to. Graphics. Do I want anything here? You know what? We just get GIMP. That'd be fine. Spacebar. Okay. You get some stuff for us. One package. Right, and that should be about it. Oh no, I want a browser, don't I? Okay. So we go to internet. Click on there, and we'll have Firefox. Because I like Firefox. That'd be enough for me. Get some check things for me. Well done here, want one package. No. We can get multimedia if we want to, but I'm not going to bother. We've got Office there if you want to, but I'm not going to bother. Okay. We'll go down to System. We've got lots of utilities here if we wanted them. So you may want Conkey. You may want Gparted. Okay, we'll go down. But I'm going to have H-Top, because I like it. That's fine. Do you want K3B as stand? No. I might want to, not want to install that, you know. I'm going to try and keep it as vanilla as possible. Do I need PC file, man? No, I may do, but we'll soon find out. Anything else I want? Python? No, no, no. No, don't need none of that. Don't need Scrot. I don't need Tmux. I don't need Photobox. Do I need Wget? Not really. No, I don't need that. I don't need a screensaver. So we'll just click on OK there. And that's basically me done. So I'm going to go right to Install. Click on Install. And off we go. Begin the installation of Arch Linux Base System onto SDA. Well, of course. It's only going to be 224 megabytes of download. It's going to take, it says it's going to take five minutes. Shall we see? I may have paused the video to make it shorter. We'll see. So I'm going to click on Install. Yes. And off we go. And what it basically does now is start installing everything for us. And then you can just sit back, have your cup of tea, or half a pint of old speckled hen like I am now. Mm -mm. Very distinctive. Mm -mm -mm. Nice bit of bitter. Bit of bitter bit of bit So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video. And we'll come back when it's nearly finished. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Bye bye. Hey, we're back again. Okay, we basically installed it basically in that little time. It was about three minutes, and that's just finishing on the, off the installation. And we're almost done. Okay, so I just paused the video because you didn't want to sit there to be blabbering or anything like that, did you? Really? No. So it's just making some stuff for us. It's almost done as configuring the kernel. It doesn't take too long whatsoever. A little more drinkage while I'm waiting. Won't be too long. Mm -mm -mm. But I would say, just give yourself between, all well, depending on your hardware. If you've got a modern 4 machine, I'd take yourself a half hour. I should do it all for you. All depending on your download speed as well. Don't forget about that. Just got to do a lot of downloading. Is it really done here? Oh, look. Really super duper. I like it. Okay. So, we're going to leave the host name as Arch anywhere. It's fine. That's fine by me. So we click OK. Set our response word, OK. So we're going to go, ooh, I don't know. Is that right? One, two, three, four. OK. Two, three, four. That's all set. I want a user, of course, so that'd be me. So I put me in. That's fine. My full name. Well, that's my full name, Sneaky. Set password, well, one, two, three, four again, and one, two, three, four again. That's all set. Do I want privileges for Sneaky? Of course, it makes it so much easier, especially on a single machine. If you've got other users running a machine, obviously, you might want to change that. So, click yes, and we're done. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to power off the machine, and we'll see what happens. Okay. I won't pause the video this time. We'll just let it do this. We found an unmounting. We'll quickly go back to VirtualBox. I'll quickly change the boot order. Down to there. OK it. And then start the machine. OK. So I'll minimise that again for you. I make this full screen. 
Okay, we'll boot. So we're booting to our system now. It won't take too long at all. There are some different things that you'll find out when you're doing it in virtual box. That some sizing won't be right because it's using guest ancillaries, really, at the end of the day. So anyway, here we are. What's going to happen? Okay. Will that GTK3 experimental muck it up for us? Now, it will be bigger than this, hopefully. Okay, so put that password in. And we'll see what happens. Oh, nice. Straight into LXDE. Lovely. I'm liking it already. So we've just done a base system with an Arch installer. Right. A real, real basic stuff. The rest of the stuff you can do yourself. So under graphics, GIMP is here. Under internet, Firefox is here. That's what we installed, didn't it? Okay. Simple music player that comes standard with X music. Okay. Or LXD even. My pulse audio controls. My system tool. So I'm going to open up HTOP. What are we using? 198. If this was on real hardware, that would be quite a bit lower. I promise you. Oh yeah. I'll open up the browser for you just so you can say. Off we go. I'll have a bit of drinkage while I'm waiting. Hang on a minute. Mm. There we go. Open them up. We're there. Let's open up there. We'll put in the tube. Lovely. I didn't install the extra codex. That's one thing the multimedia codex, but hey, it shouldn't make no difference to us really. Go straight to YouTube. Okay, here we go. And I put me in. There we go. We'll just go to. Uh, oh, do you remember Tiny Me? Tiny, that was a long time ago. I'll click on uh, the Raspberry one. That's not a bad video. I hate this card, you bloody cloth girl. Oh, does my head in. Anyway, let's get that ad. Will it play at 1080? I should hope so. There we go, make that bigger for us. That's fine, isn't it? It does what we want it to do. So that's your basic Arch install using Arch Anywhere. Okay, close that. That's all you have to do. Go give it a play somewhere on VirtualBox, or if you've got an old machine that you just want to give it a go. If you've got an old machine, use LXDE or LXQT or Enlightenment, but you might have to play with Enlightenment a bit more. But hey, there's your install. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.